Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. And today we are fixing the Tahoe. Stupid deer run out in front of me one day on my way into work. And I've got the pasture side up real good here. Hit butt here. Completely demolished that whole turn signal out. Got the got my darn uh, logo, well, emblem too. Lost my bow tie. And, you know, busted this side all to get out. Now it can kind of, you know, be finagled. It'll, 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 it'll drive, it'll drive around like that. Had to drive like this for two weeks because the local junkyards don't have Tahoe front ends in there. No Tahoes. Well, they got like three Tahoes and a few Yukons. I'm like, surely to goodness I can find something that'll work. Nope. Because YouTube people have made these engines worth something. And now people are just going in the junkyards, taking electric hacksaws, and just chopping what they need to out of the way and just pulling the engines out. They don't care about the grills. They don't care about the headlights. They don't care about people that need this stuff. No, huh? -uh. What they want is under that hood. And I got what they want. <laughs> anyway, um, we got ourselves a brand new front end to go in this puppy. The grill, uh, the grill hasn't got here yet, but we do have headlights and parking lamps to go in it. And when we get on into it, I'll show you the farther bit of the damage that that stupid deer done. All right, so it's starting to rain on us. We're gonna have to make this quick. Here he is. One box of goodies, DNA motoring, and some other stuff. Go Amazon. Here you go. Don't don't pull knives towards yourself, children. And don't try this at home. Go to a friend's house. What we got in here? What have we here? This great big box for just the frame to hold the headlight. You can see because that side got busted up. Let's go ahead and get this apart and see the damage. All right, so, like I said, the passenger side took most of the hit. My headlight adjuster is broken. Oh, that's busted up so that's no good pretty much the only thing that survived was the driver's side headlight it is still solid in one piece the reason why the driver's side turn signal housing is busted up is simply because this one tab here it locks in over here. It goes in, locks in place, and it pushes back. That tab got busted just from the small input. So that's no good. And then as you can see, the uh, pasture side housing there hasn't even existed since this incident. It was there for a little bit, but it wasn't even worth trying to even keep a hold of. I gotta say this, Chevrolet, thank you for designing a vehicle that the front end can be pulled off of in no time flat. Now, it was a little bit faster because I had already taken it apart once before, and there's a valence cover over here, just a large sheet of plastic that covers from the grill to the top of the radiator. So I've already had that off, it's just some push clips. That's going back on when I get the new grill. Until then, 
I will put in the other grill just to give it a little bit of a face until that grill arrives. Should be here in a couple of days and I'll finish up the video whenever that comes in. But here we have what we got. We're gonna go ahead and get the other headlight out and I'll go ahead and show you the damage that this one has. Here is the pasture side and you see that got busted up. That's supposed to be one piece right there, that joint. Hard crunch, broke that apart there, broke it apart down here, and on down here too. So, I've got to, and what these are, T25 Torx. Now here's my question. Why well, have two T25 Torx bits and everything else is 10 millimeter? Why? Well, luckily, I've got this wicked awesome little EP Auto Torx set. And guess what? She's an impact. Well, maybe not, but I have used it on the impact. It's going to be used on this impact because it makes it so much quicker. These make life easy. Anyway, as you can see, it's raining pretty good now. Let's get back to it. I'm just going to yank that off and we'll put it in the new frame. All right, so now we've got a brand new, brand spanking new piece here. Just trying to look, see what hardware we're going to need to bring from the old one to the new one. And it looks like we're just going to need these mounts here for the grill. So, I'll pull them off right quick, get them installed, and we'll get it on the Tahoe. Got those clips in. The final location of those will be select or will be decided when I put the new grill in. Because they do have the adjustment side to side. So time to bolt her up, see how it looks. So now we've got one bolt left, one little 10 millimeter. And guess where that one little 10 millimeter goes? Any guesses? Underneath, or well, behind the bumper. It's the hardest one to get to. If you ask me, it's elective whether or not to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just a pain to get to, so there's that. All right, so I found out a good way to get that 10 millimeter bolt. Stick your arm up through that hole right there and come up through the back side of the bumper or through the inside of it. Well, you can get your wrench and your ratchet wrench on there and knock it right out. Look at that. Don't, ain't that pretty? It sits right in there. You know, that's still the factory OG over here. Cool deal. Well, now it's time to unbox the headlight. And here are the headlights. I really like the black chrome. This was actually a cheaper option than the factory OEM style. Like this. I'll be reusing these headlights though. But I do have new parking lights and DRLs and corner marker lights to go in this. Oh yeah. I like this a lot. Let's get them thrown in there. Perfect, perfect. And now it's raining pretty good. All right, so we got new corner lamps, daytime running lights, and turn signals. All three of these, I went ahead and got colored turn signals and lamp or corner markers. The DRLs, I decided for like two dollars more, get these Silver Star style. So it'd be a brighter light. But I like to have, you know, most of the time I run around my day or with my uh, headlights on all the time anyway, just to help with visibility's sake. But the new lamps, they are clear all on the, 
all along them. See this first one, that's your daytime running light. Then you got your turn signal, and then you got your corner marker. And as you can see, all it is is a yellow reflector. So, getting the yellow bulbs are your best bet. Daytime running light, you can get clear, white, pink, blue, whatever you want as your DRLs. But I like this color here. Just the bright light, or yeah, whiter light. Silver Star 3157s. So we'll see how that works. Okie doke, so we've got the bulbs already in their sockets. It's time to install this beautiful new piece. Oh yeah, don't that look pretty? Of course you just gotta take your, your transit stickers off the back. Help keep anything out of it while shipping or being stored. A little stiff. Well, maybe that's to ensure that we got good sealing there. There's that one. Go to the very end now. Boom. All right. And how these are held in, quite simple. It's this little, no, it's a hook right underneath here. And that hook goes in it, and then that clip clips in there and boom you're done simple as that make sure you got all your room that you need and boom there it is look at that don't that look cool all right let me go ahead and get the other side done and then we'll come back with the headlight the number one thing that i like about these headlights well, it's not these headlights, it's just the Tahoe headlights in general, is these are all that's holding them in. Set them up, you've got these holes and those clips. It's nothing to it. It's really nothing to it. Now I can put these in so easily. So, but all you need, Put your headlight, start fishing it in here. Well, of course, before that, you need to plug them up. Like I said before, I'm using the same headlights that was in my factory housings. Plug them back up, feed everything back in. Get it all situated in there as well as you can. And then they're even tapered on the bottom to even help you line up what you need. Oh, you can tell these things are this housing. Make sure it's clear and accepting. Gonna need a little bit of a working to get it in there first. And then you just turn it. And they snap in and lock. Like how how perfect is that? And you just get the other side, and, and it's nothing to it. Uh oh, gonna have to weasel this one a little bit. There we go. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Boom. Just like that, the headlight is installed. And to take it out, ain't nothing but. Pull that, that, pull them up, and boom, it about falls out in your lap. Ain't nothing to it, yo. Don't that look good? Yeah, I still got the plastic on it, but you know what? It's all about patience. Leave the plastic on there till the job is done. 
See, don't, so you know you're not gonna, oh, great, I gotta take it back off anyway to get that plastic off. Oh, look at that. Gonna do that to the other side. Ain't that the most satisfying thing in the world? Peeling that plastic off. Listen, listen. Oh, yeah. There we go. Would you look at that? Ain't that just pretty? Little yellow 194s. Got my yellow turn signal. My clear DRL. I did think about getting. I remember back in the day they used to have them where they were. They looked like like a blue, where it looked like it was dipped in oil, and it light up yellow. I was looking for those today, but I couldn't find them. And of course, all I need to do now is replace the grill. I ain't put this grill back in. Like I said, it'll be a couple of days before the new grill comes in, and I'll finish this video up with that. I'm not gonna leave it all hanging like this. Let's see if I can't get it. I'll mess with that later. But let's go ahead and fire up the lights and see what this looks like. Don't that look awesome? Oh man, almost like the just the regular chrome grill alone. That thing, that looks really good. I didn't think that the chrome grill would look so good with those headlights, honestly. Oh, dude, I can't get over that. That makes me fall in love with this thing all over again. Now I've always liked it. I've always loved this Tahoe. I like to call them trucks, SUVs, and they're built on a truck chassis. So to me, the Chevrolet Tahoe is still a truck with a permanent camper shell on it. <laughs> That's my opinion. I'll stick to it because I can still pull whatever I want to with it. I ain't going to show you the whole thing. It's dirty. I went off to... It's still my trash hauler. So the dump had some mud in it today because wonderful June rain. Well, like I said, we'll finish up that video when we get the grill in and see y'all in a few days. ladies and gentlemen so a few days later I was able to do all that on Friday today is now Monday and we have the rest of the Tahoe front end here my big grill all right so we've got the old grill out and we here lots of modular style Oh, I like the honeycomb. It is safe to say that I did not expect this to be a three-piece front grill. Thought it was all one solid piece. It did come with hardware to screw it together too. But it didn't come with the hardware with these clips. So you'll have to reuse them. Luckily, I was able to find that one. And then those clips there are not the same. You'll still utilize that same 10 millimeter, but your Phillips head is not the same. Instead, it has clips that will be going into here, I do believe. Or maybe we have to, I'm pretty sure we'll have to remove these. So, 
We'll see when we get to it. Okay, so we have this one here assembled now. And holding them side by side, I can tell the new one is extremely flimsy. Like, really thin. It's very lightweight. If you want to shave any kind of weight off, definitely go with that one over the factory one. I mean, that's still, that's pretty robust. I know you really can't tell nothing but me picking it up in a video, but yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised at how flimsy this one here is. Because if it were to be in that same accident, this is going to be destroyed. And if that ever happens again, I will definitely find an OEM one. If I can find one that doesn't have the opening for the bow tie, I think that'd be pretty awesome. But until then, we'll roll with this one here. These clips on the end, I believe my best bet will be go ahead and install them into the fender where they are held. And then I'll be able to just snap these in so I don't have to try to line them up properly on the grill. It'll be self-aligned for me if I go ahead and install them right here. So, that's the next step. Well, it doesn't fit right. I'll be honest with you, I just told my wife that if I saw this sitting in the store, I wouldn't have bought it. But, I'm going to stretch it to make it fit, pull these clips out on this side. You can see the one down at the bottom. So it's stretched apart and just to get this side in. So I'm gonna take it back off and send it back We'll rock the stock grill until I can find a good OEM replacement. Well, I'm going to finish off this video now. Got the stock grill back in it. I'm going to do something about this missing emblem here. We'll figure something out on that. Um, it's a little dirty. Been drying it to work still. I really do like them headlights though. They are nice. I will recommend them. DNA motoring. I just found them on Amazon. They were cheaper than OEM look-alikes so go with that but i keep the robust the robust grill i like it a lot and honestly i thought i was gonna like the all blacked out front end but the headlights came with a little bit more chrome to them than what i was expecting and when you look at it it's kind of like well the headlights go pretty well with the grill you know just the right amount of chrome and black i like that it gives it a darker tone a little bit of a stronger tone if you ask me looks a little meaner oh yeah well oh i've got a question for y'all before we end this out what do y'all want to start seeing on the channel leave a comment below talk about what you want to see you know the crx is gone now Still going to be trying to get out and do some autocrossing every once in a while. Um, but what about this thing here? What if we start doing Tahoe builds? Or the Tahoe build? How about that? Anyway, y'all leave me something in the comments. Like, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. Give it a thumbs down if you don't, if you don't like the video. And then comment and tell me why you did it. How about that one for you? Anyway, y'all have a good one. God bless.